welcome to episode 49 in the Youth Squad Legends series with Stockport County. Champions of the Europa Conference League, you'll never sing that. Thank you ever so much for the love that you showed me in the last episode. I am feeling a little bit better. I'm feeling ready to get promoted with Stockport County. Give me the news, Posh Cutsy. Hello there, Posh Cutsy here. Uh, we've had a bit of a financial cock up. <laughs> Maybe I bought a few too many cars. Automobiles for Posh Katze. If you do not get promoted, I can't offer you the same financial capabilities. Uh, we're going to have to take five million pounds out of the budget. Sorry. Toodles! Five million pounds taken out of the budget if we don't get promoted. Now, what an amazing playoff picture this is with four teams that had fabulous seasons. Sheffield United might think that they were a little bit unfortunate not to get promoted. Then we got Norwich, dark horses of the competition. Burnley, I'm a little bit frightened of. We've had a fantastic season, but it all comes down to this. And if we can't perform against Burnley, perform against the championship playoff finalists, if we get there, then we got another season of this. And I don't know if I want another season of this. It's good for the likes of Reyna that need time to develop, but I think it would be a much more interesting season if we were to get promoted because the overalls are just not there in this team. There would definitely be some degree of scrapping. Right, team management. I feel more comfortable with Intege in the net, so we're going to have Cavallaro for the two legs of the semi-final. Only makes it fair. Have Intege for the final if we reach it. Gomez and Bustamante are just centre bikes. Kratos Cabasau, absolutely fine. Love more Cosy Puller and Jang Sung Chan in your middle. Happy with that. Let's go big. Red and Strand on the wing. It's Burnley against Stockport County. First leg away from home. Let's keep it nice and tight. And to add to the theatre, it is raining at Turf Mall. What a big occasion. Big switch on from Creato. That's going to uh, reach the head of Juicy John who can't head back. Oh. Already people taking selfies. Not Burnley fans, in my opinion. Back in my day, we didn't take selfies at football grounds. They do have a nice shape about them, Burnley. Try and go out to the wing here. And Juicy John gets a little play with the ball and actually finds the pass this time. Jang Sung Chen onto Kaba Salon back. Oh, yeah, they're defensively sound. It's going to be a pure defensive semi-final, boys. Can't select the right man. They're going for a power shot there. Cavallaro does well to parry. Kaba Sal all the way up. Great chest control by Socrates. And all of a sudden, we're on the attack. Socrates trying to look inside for Pegararo just behind him. Yes, I've got a jumper on at the moment. We will see the uh, Stockport shirt later on in the episode if we get to the final. Uh, it's a little bit cold in this room, so I uh, just want to warm the cockles up. Cabasau goes wide. Juicy John Whippage. Very close. Pegararo there. Jang Sung Chan probably should have put a bit more power onto that Peacock Feral. Not really challenged. I've not seen much of Burnley as an attacking threat, but defensively, yeah, they've got it in them. And they just need to pop one in, and then we are struggling here. Juicy John. What a great run by Pegararo. Not enough in it. Go back. It's Juicy John. Oh, Socrates show. Okay, all right. Well, Juicy John's lack of finishing ability has really cost us there. Is it one of them games? We can't afford it to be one of them games. I think Dada got in the way of that shot. Gomez is up on the attack and tries to play it into Pegararo. Now we've got a centre back missing. Gomez, lovely stuff. Wonderful header. Pegararo holds it up and drops it to Creato. The left back is on the charge. Bit of whippage. Not good enough. Aiming for that corridor of uncertainty. It's Socrates with space to hammer one towards goal. Two central. Maybe it shouldn't be Pegararo on these free kicks. Someone smaller like Lovemore. Cossi Pula to just dink it in and nod it on and nod it on again. Red and Strand was in the area. It's a tale of what could have been. It's half time. It's nil nil. Tense football match. It's exactly. What you'd expect from the first leg of a playoff semi-final. Bad pass out. Alvarez, ball in. Bastion, <laughs> massive chance for Burnley. They tried to play it across, but Cavallaro stretched his big frame. Absolutely smashing it with the commentary today. You really do love to see it. Go on, Pegararo. Dada Bustamante nods it down, unchallenged, unfazed. Creato, he has red and strand. 
Ready for the one, two here. And another cross in potentially. Socrates to love more. It janks Sung Chan. Oh, it's gone through the goalkeeper. What a massive goal by our big time midfielder. Yo, give me that South Korean national anthem. <laughs> We've deserved that by constantly knocking at the door. And we might have dispatched Burnley as a threat. Bit of stingy Stockport, but a bit of the magnificent Stockport that we've seen through the season. Decore's got to Alvarez, and it has gone in at the front post there. Cavallaro should be doing better. Burnley have a surprising equaliser. They not really got close before then. Not really too sure what the goalkeeper's doing there. He's just sat down and allowed it to go in in a spot that he really should be covering no problem. I think Redenstrand is onside here, but we have absolutely nothing in the box. Brilliant skill, though, to keep the ball at his feet. The home fans have started singing, come on, Burnley. I think they need some divine intervention. I would say that they've got a pretty decent amount of luck today. And with the juicy John effort, oh! However, the goal that they did concede was a complete blunder, so... I mean, we're all square on that one. Two pretty ridiculous goalkeeping errors. I mean, it just makes sense, doesn't it? These two teams have hardly been split through the season. Now they're uh, giving it a right tussle in the championship playoffs. Let's close him down. Oh, dear. Here's the chance. Massive chance to Corey. It's going to land at Alvarez. He played it across. Oh, and finally, Cherlinov. Last-ditch defending does not come good for Stockport. And Burnley somehow have won this game 2-1. Big block by Cabasau, but just got unlucky with the bounce. Almost reached it with his foot. That would have been just exceptional defending. Very late in the day. Another long shot. Okay, right, we need to calm down a little bit here. Full time, got work to do. Burnley 2, Stockport 1. They didn't look like they were in it for 60 minutes, but they've come out of here with the victory. A match fact shows what we need to do. More shots are needed. Just pepper that net. Full time in the other game. Norwich nil. Sheffield United nil. So all square going into the second leg of the other semi-final. Are we going to stop this episode after two games? Pretty miserable at the fight that we've just got knocked out by Burnley. It honestly would be a really big shock. Congratulations, Socrates Alves, for being our first player to reach the 80 overall mark. Swap the keepers around because the promise is a promise. This is Stockport County against Burnley. On the ball back here to Jang Sung Chan, who's got space in the midfield. He pokes it into Pegararo, who turns. Massive chance for Stockport, but he couldn't figure his feet out. Needed that on his right foot. Eggy Turner pushing into the final third. Here's Creato. There's a back heel there. It's a two against one. Cabasau's going to have to be really careful. Fantastic from the Brazilian. Try not to panic. We've got plenty of time here to turn this around. Cabasau's probably been the best player in a Stockport shirt so far. What a wonderful through ball. Red and Strand, no! Has the midfield swap given us the edge? The flag's not gone up here. We are in a spot of bother as Sims still looks offside from that angle. Vladislav Duda, who's kept him onside, probably got him selected and trying to you know, push him further upfield because apparently in this game, it's sensible for one defender to just uh, sit five yards behind the defensive line. I need to take the jumper off. It's obviously affecting my game. In comes the Stockport shirt. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Sorry, mate, but I only accept payment in Vietnamese dong. We are on the verge of absolutely bottling this. We've had so many good chances in this leg alone. It's Red and Strand. Now an opening. Numbers. Look at Eggy Turner go. He's been a driving force for us. Socrates. Got a finish and hasn't. Eggy Turner corner kick. No. Oh! The deflection off Brownhill almost dropped it into the Burnley net. Last attack of the first half. It could get worse because apparently Cabasau thought that that was good to keep him onside. It's 4-1 on aggregate to Burnley. What a collapse, man. What I've just seen is horrific. What is he doing? What is he doing? Right on the stroke of half time. Yeah, we've had more shots and more XG. Just can't find the back of the net. We need three goals in 45 minutes of football. Pegararo, here we go. Come on, Socrates. We've got to put this one in. It's a difficult chance. It's a magnificent save. Here comes a Vladislav Duda free kick. 
Not even over the wall. And it's just going to drop perfectly to the goalkeeper. I've just seen the red glow. So time finishing is back on in the most important of situations. This stinks. We haven't even been comprehensively beaten. Every stat will show that we have been the better side. Come on, Socrates. Less than 10 to go. We've scored. I don't want to be a bad loser, but it does feel like we've been cheated out of this a little bit. Three out of minutes. Unfortunately for us, we're going to see a lot more of those minutes in the championship next season. A poor pass from Dudu's not played great today. I can't really say that anybody has. Reddenstram misses the pass to Juicy John. Could have set him free, but then again, he probably doesn't score it. Another slide tackle comes in for good measure. We've just got knocked out of the playoffs. Grim reading. We had an XG of 3.3. Nearly 30 more passes, five more tackles, four times more tackles won. The keeper made eight saves. The nightmare scenario has just played out, and it would have been Sheffield United in the final. Right, after that dismal showing, I think the conversation of changing our strikers has to be a priority. Will I change them? I don't know. I love Red and Strand's chant. I love Pegararo's chant. It'd be very sad to see them leave, but I tell you what, on the turn of the new season, we'll be going into that free agents list and we'll be having a look immediately at the strikers available to us. It's an horrific way to finish a season. It's not even a trip to Wembley at the end. Pegararo, joint second top goal scorer in the championship. Lueling, 32 goals in 45 matches. An incredible season. Juicy John, most sis and most sis by a country mile. Put some respect on Juicy John's name. Absolutely gutted. It's going to be a real test of my trust and patience in the summer. That was a pretty rough one to deal with. Let's have a look at these squad stats before we end the season. Cabasau. 51 appearances. Fabulous average rain all the way through there. Top goal scorer, Pegararo, 25. Pretty respectable. Nearest, Socrates with 19. Jimmy Gallagher got 11, presumably for Luton Town. That's a great return for him. Juicy John got 17 assists. Jang Sung Chan, nearest with 11. Most clean sheets, Cabasau, Jang Sung Chan, Vladislav Duda all on 15. Two defenders that dropped absolute clangers. We can't really make it up. I think there was some kind of working against us because usually they don't drop that deep. Usually our defensive line is pretty good. I'm not going to throw all the toys out the pram and say, oh, it's scripted. I mean, whether or not it was scripted, we've got to do better at taking our chances. If we score more goals there, we're definitely in with a shot. Second leg, it was all us. The silver lining on the dark cloud is that we're getting all the players back from loan. And it would have been a little bit of a hole in the story if uh, some of them players that have been so good to us in League 2, League 1, didn't get their chance to get the team promoted into the Premier League. You can't really say that I didn't throw the kitchen sink at that. You've seen the match stats. FIFA 23 is a flawless game that cannot be critiqued in any way, shape or form. Am I right? We could have a comment section here, but I've just had a quick read through and it's all just love coming in for Perry. Yeah, thank you ever so much for the support and the patience. Uh, this has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends and this season of Youth Squad Legends. Some hard work now getting ready for the next championship campaign. Name fixers, height fixers, weak foot fixers, all that stuff needs to be done. Even though it's a bit of a gut punch, I still hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give it a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and hit the bell icon for mobile notifications so you never miss an upload again. Big thanks to everybody on the right hand side supporting me on Patreon. Without your financial help, I won't be able to do this full time. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye. Well, it seems as though Burnley lost in the playoff final. So it's a revenge tour for Stockport County next season. Lovely.